um, this next segment is for you and, and the people who love and support you. Matthew Knowles, music executive, motivational speaker, author, professor, proud father to his superstar daughter, Beyonce, and his other daughter who sings quite well too, Solange. Shannon Lanier joins us now. Good morning, mm -hmm. Shannon. Um, you spoke to Matthew Knowles earlier. What did he say? Yeah, good morning, guys. You know, we know him from all the things you mentioned, Sharon, but he's also a male breast cancer survivor or male chest cancer survivor, as he likes to call it. And he joined me to share his story and his diagnosis, how it changed his life and his mission to educate and motivate others. What led you to go to the doctor in the first place out of the thought that you may have some type of chest cancer or breast cancer? Well, Shannon, I had this discharge in a blood, and I knew just from working previously in the medical field that something was wrong, and went to my doctor, got a mammogram, uh, had a biopsy, and then had surgery immediately. Yeah, it, blood coming out of your chest would freak anybody out. And, but what did you think immediately when you heard those words, it's cancer? Man, I, I tell you, you immediately say, am I hearing these words? That That's, you was like, am I in a daze? Am I in a dream? Is this really, really happening to me? Uh, am I going to survive this? What is it going to look like? Those are the things I thought. But I think one of the things that saved your life is as soon as you did hear the diagnosis, you took immediate action. What did you do? Well, as soon as I heard it, I went again to my doctor and I had the surgery the next week. And fortunately, it was diagnosed at stage 1A, uh, which is one of the benefits of early detection. Mm, and now your mission is, as a survivor, to educate other men, especially black men, and dispel some of the myths that are out there. Why do you think there is so much shame associated with breast cancer for men? I think a lot of it has to do with the messaging of it. When we touch this part of our body, we touch our chest, not our breasts. And we have utmost respect for our women. And we don't feel comfortable using that word. And I think a lot of it has to do with the messaging of how we say male breast cancer or a man has breast cancer. I think we have to be uh, look at other ways of messaging to men. So what's your message to men now after knowing what you now know and going through your journey? What would you tell guys out there? I would tell them if, if they have a family history of any type of cancer or any type of disease, that they need to go and go to a doctor and get diagnostic testing. Uh, for me, it was also genetics. So it goes back to, I have a genetic mutation. That means that I have a higher risk for male chest cancer, prostate cancer, melanoma. Uh, so I have to be aware. I had to do a lifestyle change, uh, lose weight. I lost over 30 pounds. I, eat differently now, I exercise, I reduce my alcohol consumption by 90%. It's a lifestyle change that comes with it as well. Mm. And so now are you more paranoid about other possible cancers that could come up in your line or in your blood system? No, I refuse to live in paranoia. Mm. Uh, I, I, I just, that's not my, my makeup. Uh, I do the things that are required, which is I will go and have a my next annual testing uh, here in the next 30 days, and I believe in science, and that's the, the way that I approach this.